Hello, family. Welcome to Ma B's Nursery. Um, I'm Ma B. <laughs> Happy Thursday to everyone. I just wanted to pop on and see um, everybody and say hello and um, let you know what I my little findings are. How's everybody doing today? Um, my day has been blessed. It's been long, productive. Um, try to get a little rest today. But I wanted to pop on here. Um, I've been doing thrifting, and I'm I'm really loving it. Um, you know, I was doing the um, all the getting the babies and different things like that, and I I feel kind of better just going out for the hunt. You know, just kind of hunting for different dolls. And I mean, if it's a reborn doll, it's good. You know, uh, uh, if it's a, a baby doll, it's good. Um, it doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm enjoying every moment of it. So, um, I had to restart my video family because I just wasn't getting the space that I needed. Um, I just realized like I don't have a, <laughs> a, a memory card in my phone. So I'm going to take care of that Lord's will tomorrow. So let me show you what I found while I was out. Um, at the thrift store and I went to um, the store and I did a little looking around and I'm really not for the um, the porcelain dolls but I found this little baby right here and I just thought that she was absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful now I found that this is an African African American baby doll, ceramic doll, um, and I found she's uh, also not branded. I don't know what kind of doll this is, what her name is, um, because this doll was not pr branded when they were made, when she was made, or the collection was made. So I'm not really sure. Um, if anybody have any clue, please let me know down in the comment box. Um, it'd be greatly appreciated, but I think she's beautiful. I think she's absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure what's going on with the lighting, but I'm trying not to put her so close in there to make the background dark. Okay, so we'll go to the next part here. And I also found this little tag. I thought it was cute. I'm sorry, family. I hope I don't drop my camera, but yeah. All right. So I also found this little plaque right here. It says weeks until baby. So I'm going to put this up. So every time we bring a new baby in the nursery, this will be there. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, we'll sit that right there. And then I also found um, a couple of pair of shoes. Um, these were like $1.50. These are cute little boots. Mainly for my bigger girls. And a pair of gym shoes. Um, I gotta find the other shoe. These are like 50 cents. They're cute. Yep. Um, a pair of dress shoes. $1.50. Not bad. I think they're cute. And that'll just help my girls kind of get ready for Easter. Um, I have... A couple of dress shoes, a pair of dress shoes. Um, some I haven't tried on my babies and some that I have. So I got a good number of dress shoes in my collection. I don't change their shoes a whole lot. And then, like, especially when they go into their little night clothes and stuff like that, I just don't put no shoes on them at all. And I'm trying to find my other little gym shoe. I don't know where it ran off to, but hopefully I can find it. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Dang it. Nope, I can't find it. I got a gym shoe that's lost family, but we're not going to waste a lot of time um, on the video. So this is a picture of the other shoe that I'm looking for. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know if I got lost up under something. I'm not sure. I could be sitting on it. I don't know. And it was supposed to be in the bag. So I'm going to put this stuff back in the bag. And also, family, I wanted to share with you. I'm going to put this. Oh, and I got this for my my Christopher, my lamb doll. I got the Thomas 
at, yeah, because I haven't rooted him yet. He don't have a whole, he don't have no hair on his head yet, so I got a nice little, little pair of pants. Got a couple of little outfits. Um, but yeah, I'll find, oh, the shoe was turned upside down. I found it. It was, it was where it was supposed to be, but it was turned upside down, so it kind of blended in with everything. So here's the little pair of shoes. Yep. These are those little shoes. I'm going to put this stuff back in the bag. I'm going to also put the baby back in the bag because I um try to make sure before I bring anything out into the, the doll room, the doll space, that everything is cleaned and wiped off. So I'm going to put this little mama back in the bag and all the shoes and stuff like that. I just thank God that this stuff smells good and it's clean. And these shoes are really good. They, you know, they they're pretty loved and everything, but they they clean. They're not all stuffed up. It's got little stuff marks here and there. But family, let me share with you because God is so good. Like in my doll room, I had like a whole bunch of. It just seemed like too much for me. I don't like clutter, but, you know, when you got a lot of doll babies and stuff like that, that's pretty much what you have, clutter. <laughs> so, um, I um, I had, like, the lay and play. I had, like, my swings in here. I had a baby changing table. I had all this baby stuff in here. Swings, and I think I said that swings, baby changing table, the lay and play. Um, everything you can think of that pertain to a baby in this room. And I just, like yesterday, I was like, oh my God, like God, I got to make some changes in here. I had to kind of declutter things and, and rearrange. And I wish I would have um, recorded the transition of the room, you know, moving the old stuff out and bringing the, old, the new stuff in. And if you can see back here in the back, um, cause I've tried the, the straight table, you know, where I could put all my stuff up under there, the baby clothes and wipes and all the pampers, all this stuff under there. Then that just felt like it was kind of cluttered to me. I did that for a while for some good months. And I said, Oh, you know, Angel, you're gonna have to change this too. You know, so I, I took the table back out the room. I put the, the newer, I got some new stuff, um, lay and play um swing and then a, a baby changing table i just kind of changed the decor in here and stuff like that and i was like oh my god I did that for a while and so when i was out thrifting i mean i was just i was i was goodwill uh hopping i was thrift store hopping to see um what it was that i could i could find and family look i walked into one store the thrift store i think it was um can't even think of it. I think it's right here on this bag. What, what is it called? St. Francis. I went into St. Francis thrift store. I'm sorry, uh, family. I look like I kind of hit the camera, shook the camera. But anyhow, I went in um, the, a, a thrift store called St. Francis. And I, I really didn't feel comfortable in there. So I just kind of looked around. It just made me feel uncomfortable when people don't speak. I'm like, you are doing a public service. You, you're dealing with the public. I mean, you've got to have great customer service, you know, and that's pretty much where my arena has been all my life, you know, providing good customer service to people, you know, certain jobs that I've been on and it, it just got to be their family. And so I was just like, oh, okay, well, let me walk on through, you know, so I, I did my little walk through and I said, well, no, I'm not going to get anything from here. I'm just going to, you know, walk through and then walk back out. And so um, I went all the way to the back of the store, like where the um, furniture uh, department is. And I was looking around and lo and behold, I found these racks. It's five, um, two five-tier racks. And um, I was like, oh my God, like this is perfect. This is perfect. Because I was online shopping at Timu and different places like that, trying to find the the um the little shelves and stuff like that. And I said, man, if I could just find me a good shelf, I I mean, that would be everything, right? So, um, 
I asked the man, I said, can these, you know, shelves be broke down or whatever? And he's like, yeah, sure. You know, I said, well, I want both of them. He actually had three of them back there, but the third one, um, it was like blue. I didn't want, I didn't want the blue one. It's got a bluish gray or something like that. But I was like, no, nah, I don't want that one. I was like, let me, give me those two right there. So, you know, um, I broke it, you know, they, I paid for them. They brought them to the front. I broke everything down, threw them in my car and, you know, came on home. My husband helped me, you know, get everything upstairs to the room. And I mean, I got busy family. I, I got to take in, uh, and it probably would have made better sense, but I didn't know I was going to find anything. So, you know, thinking like now it's like, it would have made sense if I would have just got all the old stuff out the room and prepared for, you know, if I found anything, but I wasn't sure if I was going to come home with anything, you know, to rearrange the room and stuff like that and, and make it a little bit better where it's not cluttered and stuff. So, um, I was so happy. I was so happy. I, I, I promised I was happy. I was like, oh my gosh, like I can like I can change my room around, change it around for the babies, you know, to fit the babies because I'm 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 st still collecting and still finding, you know, and I'm having so much fun doing it. I was like, oh my God, yes, this is right down my alley. And um so when I got everything in, I, I moved all the stuff out and my husband took everything downstairs. And um, I got the building. I got the cleaning and building, just building that shelf, building that shelf. So I did that one. That's the full five tier. And then over here, um, because I have a bookshelf made into my wall, um, it's you know it came with the house that way. And um, the bookshelf into the wall right there, I was only able to do um, three shelves up under there. So it's like three shelves here from the floor up right here. And I mean, it was just like perfect. It was perfect. I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. You know, I got all excited and stuff. And I'm like, yes. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. And um it's just it was it was really nice. It was it was really nice. And I just took my time, you know, I just took my time shopping and walking around and stuff like that. And um it was just a great time. It was a great time. And um I went to a couple, I think I went to like, maybe like five um, total between the thrift stores and the the Goodwills. And um, when I found the little lady, I, you know, I was happy and stuff like that. And um, oh, also um, my baby girl right here. Um, come here, she'll get back. I don't know if I'm going to get her back in this chair position the way that she is, but... This chair right here, I found this chair, and it's got like a little heart in it, so I found that little chair. I'm scared to take her out, y'all, because I know I probably won't be able to get her position right while the video is moving, so I'm going to keep her in the chair, but it's got like a little heart in, you know, carved in the back of the wood, so yeah, uh -oh. that's why I didn't want to mess with her, but I wanted to just show y'all um what I what I got. And um she's holding a doggy. So we're gonna leave her be so we don't waste no time on the video. Yeah, so I'm 13 minutes in, you guys. I think I'm doing pretty good. Um I wanna kind of turn this a little bit. Um try to turn it without knocking the camera down. And um <laughs> Yeah, so um just talking to my son. He blew me a kiss. I wanted to blow him a kiss back, but <laughs> I'll give him a kiss on the forehead when I get finished with the video. But um yeah, so I was excited to be able to, you know, rearrange and then I bought like little plaques and stuff like that, little um positive sayings. Um the one up here, wait a minute, hold on, let me see. And then I wanna share. The little clothes that I found for the kids. I hope I don't hit the camera. And my armors, I'll get them. Yeah, I'll make sure. Where are you going to put them at? I put them on the couch. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, family, so um, can y'all see me? <laughs> hey, hey. 
Okay, so I put my big girl up here. I'll bring her in the camera um, maybe in the next video or two. But this is my Brooklyn kit. Um, she's the crawl baby from um, Bountiful Baby. Um, I reborn her, rooted her here. But this is um, a little, I'm going to bring it a little closer so y'all can see. And then I'll just walk it back over. So I'm finding all these nice little, little pieces out here. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm finding all these little pieces out here. Like this here, I found this. And I thought that was really, really positive. And it says, you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have. And I, for this is me. I had to pick this up. I mean, that's even when you're not feeling good, you know, hard time, good time, whatever time you having. You don't know how strong you are until you have no choice to be, be happy. You have to be strong, you know, until being strong is the only choice that you have. And I, I see myself in this every single day. And I hope you guys do too, because even in your, your weakest moment, sometimes you just have to be strong. You know, it's not, it's not even a choice. It's like, Hey, I gotta, I gotta get up. When I'm feeling bad, I got to get up. When you're not feeling good in your body, you got to get up. You can't stay there. And um, then, look, family, I thought this was really nice. I thought this was really nice right here. A little rocking chair. <laughs> that was really cute. $4.99. And I think it's worth it. $4.99. It's a good chair. It's not a peeling or cracked. Nothing is broken on it. I mean, it, whoever had it really took good care of it so i picked this up to just kind of add to the to the shelf um just a little little decor um old school vintage so yeah so i just been um just doing a little little bit here and there and i'll put this back up here and i'll put the little ducky back in there I hope y'all can still see me. I gotta set her up so she don't fall out. And I'm gonna put this back over here. So how's everybody doing today? Everybody having a good Thursday? I hope that you are. Um, I am just, I'm happy. I'm, I'm just, hey, I'm here. <laughs> Thank God. And this right here, uh, let me bring it a little closer. Because I don't know exactly what you all can see on the camera at a distance. So, I'm going to bring this to you. And my nursery is still a work in progress. I'm still working, you guys. I didn't get every single thing completed yesterday. Well, last night. Um, I didn't get everything done. Because um, I've been trying to take it easy. <coughs> um. I was down for a couple of days, so trying to build my strength back up and, and get myself together and, you know, get moving and stuff like that. So, before I put this little man in here, um, this is a high chair. Let me pull him out. He's a little chunky, chunky. <laughs> He's a little chunky, baby. Little chunky, baby. Yeah. And these babies, um, no... He's not anatomically correct, but I do have one up there um, that I got when I lost my granddaughter, my first granddaughter. Um, I got one, a little bitty one up there on my shelf that I keep up there because she was um, small like my grandbaby. And um, this here is another chair that I found. It's, it's not too, too big, but. There it is right there. I'm 19 minutes in, you guys. I don't want to keep looking at the time. I enjoy, you know, doing my videos and not having to worry about the time. So I'm going to make sure I get that memory card in my phone because I don't like having to de delete stuff out of my phone. But you see that, family? That's nice. I mean, really, really in good, good condition. Really good condition. Right? So I brought this, too. So I got a couple of wood pieces. I got this one, that one up there, and I got my little sign. 
And then this morning, um, when I was kind of piddling around the room, I said, oh, well, let me see if I got a baby that'll fit in the seat. So this little baby right here, which don't have a name, I got a couple of doll babies in here. I got several. I can't even say a couple. I got several of them that I just didn't get a name to. Um, but I like them and, you know, I just I use them as like shelf dolls. The little shelf that I did have that came with the house. <laughs> so, yep, there he is. So now he got a little, little seat. And he don't have to sit on the shelf no more. Okay, so I'm going to put him back, family. And then after I put him back, then I want to, um, I want to share some clothes, just a couple of little outfits that I found. I don't even think they outfits for real. Um, yeah, let's get him over here and hopefully he don't fall off. Yep. So I put him back in his little spot. Um, I showed y'all the baby bed. So, yeah, this is, I mean, I, I'm loving it. I'm loving the shelves. I, I love it. Um, you know, because I, I did the the baby stuff. And it was just too bulky over here. Um, I mean, it just took up all this space all over here. Um, I still got a couple of shelves leaning up against the wall that I did not use. So, um, I'm thinking about... I'm kind of working my way around the room. Um, I have a wall here on this side. Once I get everything cleaned up, I'll give you guys a, a view of everything. But um, So I still got two shelves left from the second um, five-tier shelf. And I'll be using that soon. Okay. So I am really enjoying sharing um, my findings with, with you all. Um, I'm really enjoying it, you know, sharing this time with you guys. And then I try to keep a lot of positive things around me and my children. And this is the little elephant. I don't know if y'all can see it with my, um, with my ceiling fan light, but it says be awesome every day. Be awesome every day. And I try to do this every day. I try to be awesome every day. Be positive, be encouraging to people that I'm around or that are around me, you know, just positive words, encouragement, a warm hug, a warm hello, you know, a warm I love you. I just try to, you know, just keep positive vibes going. It makes me feel good. So, <laughs> you know, I try to keep everything positive. I mean, even when I'm not, you know, feeling 100, I still try to be positive, you know, because I got to make it through my day. <laughs> And I try not to focus on what somebody else is doing because you just never know what type of day that person is having. And that might be you that'll turn that whole situation around just by being kind, you know. So I always keep that in mind and keep that in mind. You know, be kind to those that's even, you know, may not be having a good day, might be mean to you, whatever, ugly, whatever. Just say something kind to them and just walk away. God bless you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so he is still in the blessing business. Yes, he is. He's still in the blessing business. So I just wanted to show you all what I found. And this is a, a Rachel Zoe from Los Angeles, New York. Yeah, 18 month. Yeah, this is a sweater that I found. I'm loving finding the sweaters. Um, hold on, I'm trying to do the buttons because when they took them off the hanger, I don't know why she unbuttoned everything, but anyway, I don't want to waste time, but this is a, a knitted sweater. I think this is very pretty. I'm going to um, put this on one of my big babies. Um, and it's got like little flowers right there, if y'all can see that. And it's brown, brown in color, kind of brownish tan. Yep. And then I found another dress. I'm trying to get my girls ready for Easter. I got some nice, mm, I got some nice boy stuff. I mean, it ain't no suits and ties and all that stuff, but I do have a couple of outfits 
um, that's got like the dress pants and the top and it might have a bow tie on the shirt already added to the shirt but I'm trying to get them ready for Easter and here's one with the bunny rabbit and it's got the little tutu uh, material a little skirt part right there gray and pink with the bunny rabbit on it this is pink violet um this is this is 3t so this might be for my my cayenne um she back here she just be chilling she be chilling i gotta bring her up here and look she like no mama leave me alone <laughs> I'm going to bring my big baby on here. This is my June kit. <laughs> she be chilling. She be like, mama, leave me alone. I ain't trying to be in no camera. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my baby. Um, She's the June kit. Um, I painted her. Rooted her uh, did, no, her hair is not rooted. Um, this is when I first started, um, you know, trying to test out, you know, learning how to paint and stuff like that. And, uh. So, um, I used to wear all different type of hairstyles until I got my, my locks. And, um, I had a pack of hair in, in my closet, in my hair bag. And I said, Ooh, I painted her and I was like, okay, yep. She cute. <laughs> I'm like, she cute. <laughs> she good. <laughs> and she's my baby. This is, um, human hair. Um, this, this is my baby. This is the biggest baby I got in my nursery. And I need a boy. Family, I need a boy. Somebody send me a boy. Give me a boy. She is, um, 36 inches. I believe I'm telling the truth. Yeah, 36 inches. And let me see. I'm, I'm still good on the time, family. I'm still good. Yay, I'm still good. But, um, I painted her. I, I took a pack of hair out of my hair bag because I used to wear all different types of styles. I love wearing different types of styles. And um, and uh, I was like, oh, my God. Like, because I didn't know how to root hair. So I was just like, mm, okay, well, let me run upstairs and find a pack of hair. So I found a, a, a pack of hair, human hair. And um, I did like a quick weave on her where I layered it and um, I glued it. I glued it in layers, just like you would do on a human head. So, yeah, this is my baby. She's not hand-rooted, but she's weave-rooted. <laughs> Ma B did that. <laughs> Ma B did that. So, she is one of the um, first babies that I, um, one of the first ones that I reborn. Just, just testing it out and having fun with it. I mean, just whether they come out perfect or not, you know, it's like once you put that paint on them and add that hair and them eyelashes and them eyebrows and stuff, you'd be like, okay, I did that. <laughs> but she is my baby. She, I mean, she hangs with mommy all the time. Look, I didn't forget about showing y'all the clothes. I didn't picked up my cayenne now. This, this is my baby right here. We hang tight. You know, she, she do the Walmart with me. Now, I haven't taken her thrifting yet, so... I'm going to have to get her out there. And, um, you know, I pierced her ears. And I go shopping for her quite quite often. Um, you know, anytime I find her a cute little outfit. Can you see the camera? Can you see? Yeah, so um, I didn't stop. But every time I be out, if she's not with me, I try to um, pick her up a nice little outfit and stuff like that. Look, she got her house. Look, she got her house shoes on. She chilling. She like, Mama, look, I'm chilling. I'm watching TV. She got her little house shoes on, little pajamas, ready for bed. Yeah, but this this, this is my little, my little snookums right here. This is my snookums. <laughs> she my little snookums. I love this baby right here. I, I cuddle with her, you know. And uh, But anyway, you guys, I, see, I get excited. It's all right, but okay, Kanye, you got to hold on. I want you to fall. And I got this little shirt for one of my big boys. Um, this is either going to go on Christopher back there. I don't know if y'all can see him. Yeah, he back there. He's right there. It's either going to go on Christopher or Corey or my other baby. I'll bring him. I'll do him on the camera some other time. Because these two babies, one, two, my big boys, um, I painted them. Uh, the only one that got here is, um, Corey. And I had him in a couple of videos back. I think like two or three videos back. But yeah. So 
one of them will wear this with a pair of jeans. I think I showed y'all the jeans. Yeah, it was in the other bag. So this got green, gray. This is a Garanimals uh, 12 months. Yeah. So Garanimal 12 month is green and gray. And then um, let me go back to my other bag. Because the pants. Wait a minute. Yeah. His pants was in here. So yeah, I showed these pants earlier. So I'm trying not to lose my lighting. Um, so yeah. They'll um one of them, the boys are uh, fit those. And then I showed you the Thomas hat. And then I also found a little vest. This is just one U made by Carter, six months. So this can fit any of my girls. Um I was thinking about my baby girl right here, Samaj. I was thinking about putting that on her um, with a long, long sleeve, pretty shirt and a skirt or pants or some tights. But that's cute. And it's got like little white bows right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got little white bows right there. And um, that's another one. And then I found this little dress shirt. Little dress shirt. I'm trying to keep my lighting, y'all. And it's got like the elbow patches. You see that? That's cute. That's like black. No, it's blue, yellow, white. Yeah, I think those are all the colors in there. And it's got the patches on the elbow. I haven't seen a shirt like that in a while. But yep. So that's one. And then I found another little dress. really cute um it's just got it's peach kind of peachish i wouldn't say pink it's like a peach color and it's got flowers long sleeve it's got flowers all down on the bottom of it and then this one is uh honest uh yep yeah, honest baby clothing and this is six to nine months okay so, a couple of dresses. I got a couple of dresses hanging up already. But I just kind of looked through and tried to find some dresses for the Easter holiday. Um, this one is white. Is one I found. I'm trying to put the button together. And this is nine month Carter's. And it's got like the little ruffles on the sleeve there. It's pretty. And all through the back right here on the back side. Yeah, so that's beautiful. And then they can wear like their leggings and um, their dress shoes, stuff like that. Um, I love these pants. This is by, um, well, it's kind of rubbed off. I, can't, I don't even know what this is from, but um, it's three to six months. But the tag is uh, baby, oh, baby gap. It's like real, real faint. You can't hardly see it, but baby got. Yeah. So, wait a minute. I got to readjust because I got the big girl sitting on my lap. <laughs> yeah, so. um, She's supposed to have a t-shirt on, but mommy haven't put no t-shirt on her. And I don't know. I, I don't know, y'all. I don't know if it's right or if it's wrong. But um, before I say what I'm about to say. I like these little pants. I don't know if you can see the material of it. But it's almost like a a thermal type pants. It's really cute. Knitted. Not a, it's not knitted. I don't know what this material is, but I love it. When I see it, if I can get like a whole outfit of it, um, I would. Okay. So it's just a few things that I picked up. And um, I've been having a ball. I've been having a ball. I'm telling you, I had to step away from the, the reborn stuff and the, you know, all that hectic stuff, the, the messiness and all that stuff. I just, I had to step away and just do my own thing because I, I felt like I felt myself just kind of sinking into what everybody else was doing and, you know, 
You, every time you turn on the video, you got to change a baby. You got to do a box opening. You know, I was just like, no, nah, I got to <laughs> I gotta do my own thing because, you know, it, it just doing it this way, it just make me feel free. You know, I'm, I'm able to be myself. Like, I mean, it's not that when I made my videos, I wasn't being myself, but I'm more happier now. It's just like, I just, you know, break away and just, you know, just go shopping. Just go shopping, you know. And I'm not, I'm not bashing anybody that that's doing the box openings and and spending that money. I'm, I'm not bashing nobody. I'm not, I'm not. That's not what this video is about. It's not what it's for. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just telling you how I feel now because at first I was just like, oh yeah, reborn, reborn, mm, mm, mm. reborn, reborn. I'm gonna get me a new baby today. I'm gonna get me a new baby today. <laughs> And it's just it didn't got kind of crazy, so I'm I'm good. <laughs> I am going to enjoy um, being me and and making my videos. Okay, so oh look 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 look. I guess this would be a um a horsey tail or a unicorn tail. I don't know, but these are little shorts, little booties. These are little shorts. Look like this is knitted. And it could possibly go up under that that um, dress I showed you guys. Or the vest. It could go up under the vest. So, yeah, it's got a little tail down the back side of it. It's real cute. It's knitted. You know, um, I know there's knitting and there's crocheting. I haven't been around it a lot, but I don't know if you guys can see that. But, yep, yeah, I'm not going to go close because every time I do that, the camera goes dark. We can't have a dark camera. You won't be able to see me in Cayenne. <laughs> you won't be able to see me in Cayenne. So yeah, I just brought her in. Um, because she be she be right here with me. I mean, she's like all up under my back. I'm like, get over, move. <laughs> Trying to make my video, girl. But anyway, I'm having fun. See, I'm free. I'm free from all the madness. I'm free. <laughs> And this here, I had this already, but it's, it's in the bag, so I'm gonna show y'all this too. It's a um, it says "Mommy's Gal." Okay, I'm gonna stay away from the camera. All right, "Mommy's Gal" is purple, blue, or whatever that color is. Whatever that color is, y'all tell me. It's okay. And it's got hearts all over it. It's a onesie sleeper made with love by Place. Yep, and it is uh, zero to three months. Yep, I got glass on, and I can't. I still can't see. I got my glasses on, and I still can't see though. <laughs> but yeah, this is a, a a sleeper. Yep, it got the foots in it. You see, it's got the foots. Uh huh. It's got the foots. Yeah. So, yeah, still got the tag on it. Ain't nobody wore it yet. So, yes, family, that is what I've been up to. That is what Cayenne. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, baby. Say hi, family. And um, I put, um, say hi, family. I put um, armatures in her so she can stand up on her own and everything. I love it. And then when she plays with her little kitchen set and stuff, she stands up there and, you know, she cooks and bakes and stuff and, she like, mommy, you want to try some cookies? I say, mm mm. <laughs> she said, <laughs> she said, mommy, you want to try some cookies? I'm like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm done with we kidding. <laughs> she always making me something. That <laughs> she always making me something with in her kitchen. So I, you know, I try to respect it and. You know, because I'd I be like, one time she made some cookies. I said, Kanye, them ingredients ain't right, baby. You need a little sugar over here, a little butter. <laughs> it was kind of dry. I'm sorry, Kanye. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no, but I, I have really, I, yeah. Sorry, Kanye. She's like, it's okay, mommy. It's okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I'm just. You know, I have to just be in this place. You know, I, I just have to, I have to be in this place, in this happy place. 
I have to stay here, guys. I and I love um I'm doing more like making my videos and stuff and I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And I'm trying to um because I'm really not a like a big talkative person and stuff. I'm always like in my little shell. And, you know, it just makes me feel good that I can come on and, and share, you know, share my findings and everything, share my babies, you know, share my day, you know, with 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 you all, with my Dolly family. And it just feels really, really good. Um, I have a couple of more videos that I want to do. I did a change. Let me bring my baby on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. I don't want it to be too long. I 40 minutes in. And I don't want to keep saying the time, but I don't want the video to be long, long, okay? But while I'm on here, one minute, family, let me get all these clothes back in here. And now we're going to put these clothes up. Or we're just going to put them down. Let me sit Cayenne over here real quick. And I'm going to bring the baby on. I don't know if y'all can still see her. She's still in camera. Just a little bit, Cayenne. Sit right there. Don't fall off, baby. Uh-oh. I knocked one of her house shoes off. Um, but I'm going to um, put the these clothes off from up here. And uh, sometimes I, I wish, like, when I go to the thrift stores now, and I try not to over shop, like, overdo it. Um, I try not to overdo it. You know, I, I still, even though I'm, I'm doing the thrifting and stuff like that and going to the Goodwills, I still like to budget my money. I don't want to just like, you know, get out of control with this, you know. And um wait a minute, I gotta move this sign. But um I just don't wanna, you know, get out of control. You know, you still no matter where you shop at, you still have to budget your money. And um but I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Um I've been blessed pretty much everywhere I've gone. And um, I want to, I want to, oh, it's just so, I, I need to write down the videos that I want to do. But last night, um, uh-oh, uh-oh, she's stuck. Here she is. This is Naomi. Um, and she's the baby that I changed off camera last night. I wanted to come on so bad and do a video, but I, I changed my mind. She is the rowing kit from Bountiful Baby. Um, I reborn her myself. Um, I rooted her here. Then she is another first baby that um, I painted. Um, she's a rowing kit, and she more than likely is supposed to be a boy. But once I put the paint on her, all I saw was girl. I mean, once I threw them lashes on, I mean, just the paint by itself, put the paint on her, the eyes, and I just looked, I was like, oh my God, like, I know it's the rowing kit, but I see a girl, like, all over, like, right? So, this is my baby, too. Um, this is Naomi. I think I just said her name, but um, I reborn her. Um, she's a big girl. Yeah. So, she's like a, a big sister. She's a big sister. And I just got her hair pulled back in the ponytail. I just, I took it down from the, the way I had it. Put her hair in the ponytail. Yep. I just put her hair in the ponytail. And, um, yeah. So I did a clothing change on her yesterday. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And she's my baby as well. Um, She's more of a, a, a big sister, you know, to a lot of the smaller babies in the nursery. Um, she got that that big sister look, that big sister mentality. She loves her jury. Um, I told her that this watch was too big, but she didn't care. She was just like, Mama, I want that watch. We went to Walmart. She said, I want that one right there. And I'm like, okay, girl. I mean, she was like coming for me, like, Ugh, I want that one right there. I'm like, Ooh, okay. Pulled out them dollars, like, here, here, take the watch, take the watch. <laughs> nah, but, uh, she's like, Mama, it's touch screen. It's touch screen. Mama, I said, okay, boo, you can have it if you want. <laughs> 
So yeah, this is Naomi. I wanted to bring her in the camera, but um, tonight, uh, because I didn't do a video yesterday. And it just got too late. And I think like right now it's like almost 11 o'clock if it's not 11 o'clock. Um, but um, yeah, I reborn her. You know, and I also had a question like, I don't know if I should do it in this video because it was just supposed to be about my, you know, the finding the the new baby and um finding the new baby, the um porcelain doll and um um you know the clothes and the little furniture and stuff like that. But um I wanted to make a video, I might as well just say it now while I'm on here. Um because, like, I just want to know, like, people that start off, you know, painting the dolls, you know, creating the dolls, bringing the dolls to life. Um, like, what do you do when, you know, you start now and stuff and you paint a doll? And this is just a question because this is what I felt or what I went through when I first started painting. And, you know, like when you paint a doll and like that doll don't come out exactly how you see the doll or want the doll to be. And it's like, um, what do you do? It's like, do you just quickly like strip the doll, you know? and go for it a second, third, fourth times, how many times do you start over? Or, like, do you completely finish the doll and say it don't come out the way you want it to come out? You heavy. Um, Come out the way you want, it don't come out the way you want it to come out. Um, Do you just say, okay, I'm going to keep this doll and learn from, you know, the first one not turning out right. I mean, do you just, I don't know. It's like, do you keep stripping a doll or do you paint the doll and say, okay, I done painted it. I done, I done did everything I'm going to do to this doll and set that one over to the side and, and then learn from that, that particular doll or dolls and say, okay, so this is what I did wrong on this doll. This is what I did wrong on this doll. Make this third or fourth doll better. Because I don't think nobody, like, throws away their kits because, you know, something don't work out right. You know, because at that point, especially if you're just making them to learn and stuff like that, um, now I can understand, like, if you're making them to sell, then you're going to keep stripping that sucker until you get it, I guess. <laughs> but the reason why I asked that question is because um, I have a baby back there in the back. He was among the the first couple of dolls that I did. And um, he just didn't, he didn't turn out right. So I was like, do I strip the doll, keep the doll, throw the doll away, what do I do? So I was like, well, you know, because when you first start like doing these doll babies, painting them and stuff, you don't have the patience. I The, the patience develop over time. You know, the patience develop over time and it's like, okay, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to take time to put these details in. I'm going to sit down and take the time to root all this hair. And then you come out with a beautiful doll. <laughs> so I do have one in my collection um, that, can y'all still see her? Because she's kind of heavy with her, you know, just sitting up here on my chest. Her little house shoe done fell off, her little slipper, her little comfy. I'll get it later. It don't matter. Say, my feet pretty. Say, my mommy made my feet pretty. She made my feet pretty. <laughs> Her little slipper came off. But I do have that one doll back there. And it, it didn't matter to me. Because I'm like, that doll ain't going nowhere. You know, it's going to be sitting here. But um, that I, I, I wanted to redo. Um, that's when I was first learning. And I got frustrated. And I was just like, you know what? You going to stay just like this. I'm not changing you. Nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> and, um, but I love him. I love the sculpt and everything. So, um, you know, I was just asking the question, like, what do you do with that doll? Like when you first start out and everything don't, may not turn out right. 
it might not come out the way you want it to come out. What do you do with that doll? Like, do you, you keep it? Do you keep on trying on that one doll? Or do you just leave that doll once it's complete alone? Put it to the side and do better on the next one. It's just a question. I don't know. So, um, yep, this is Naomi. And uh, I reborned her. Um, rooted her hair. I just put her hair... Uh, um, I wash my baby's hair, but the way I wash them, like if, if they come from a thrift store, I wash them, wash them. But if I, if I paint them and root them, and if I had a dolls for a while or whatever in my collection, I just take a wet soapy rag, just, you know, damp it, wring it out real good and just, you know, wipe across their hair and stuff like that. That's how I do that. Um, I don't use any product in their hair. Um... I don't know. I just don't think no need to do that. But um, I don't use no product. Um, I just brush and comb in here. Um, yeah. But I love her. <laughs> yeah. She my nene baby. Say do the nene say. Now watch me whip. And watch me nene. Now watch me whip. Whip. And watch me nene. Watch me whip. <laughs> and watch me nene. And watch me whip, whip, and watch me nay, nay. Hey. <laughs> hey, say, hey, 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 hey. Now watch me whip, mm. and watch me nay, nay. Now watch me whip, whip, and watch me nay, nay. Yeah, this Naomi, this Naomi, y'all. So, yeah, I wanted to bring her in the camera and share her, you guys. And now, uh, Cayenne, she kind of looking like uh mama can you lay me back down i was watching tv and it's late <laughs> so yeah i brought her in frame um i wanted to share with you guys the baby that i found and the um clothes and um i think that's about it and the furniture the furniture um i don't know if wait a minute let me sit her over here I'm trying to kind of keep her in the picture because this can kind of be her video too, you know, since I, I did her little change last night and didn't make a video. But um, the, the beautiful furniture that I found for her because she's my other little princess. And um, I'll do a video with her by herself. Um, Yeah. So I'm good, you guys. I just wanted to share um, the changes that I've made in my nursery. I still have to like collect certain things and get rid of certain things. Um, my my main focus is going to be on this side of the nursery, where the shelves are now, and um, do something with the other two um, layer shelves. Just the two that's left out of the five. This one over here. Um, I got a tote right here that I need to move out. Um, two totes on that side. I just got to just get rid of them um, and clear it out. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then I want to um, put my put my, my baby sign. Weeks until baby, the new baby comes in. <laughs> so, we're going to be seeing what we can find for next week. <laughs> I'm going to try to space it out um, and try to go to some different thrift stores and stuff like that. See what I can find. So, yeah. Ah, it's a work in progress. Every day is a work in progress um, to make it better. You know, um, I feel much happier without the baby stuff. Um, I'm not throwing my baby stuff away. I just don't want it in my nursery. So I figure with my baby stuff because it's gonna have to go all the way out my house. Um, um yeah, because the other um room that I have here at the house, um me and my husband made it a, a gaming room for our kids. It's a gaming room, so you know, they have their gaming chairs and stuff in there, so the baby stuff can't go in there. <coughs> I'll have to um just you know, put plastic over it and, and, and store it, put it in storage. Um, but yeah, we we making some, some changes. Ma be making some changes. Making some good changes. Good changes, good changes. Yeah. 
to make me some good changes. Yep. So, well, you guys, I am not going to keep y'all any longer. <laughs> I thank you for stopping by. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, happy Thursday. I pray that your day has been blessed. I pray that your evening is blessed. Um, let me see. Well, I'm trying to find something else to talk about. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that um, everyone is doing well. I pray for each and every one of you every day um, that God would bless you and keep you in perfect peace. Um, I pray for your healing. Whether you're sick in your body, sick and afflicted, I pray that he remove any and all manner of sickness and disease from your body. May he touch you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and just come on, bring it back up again because God don't miss nothing. And I pray many blessings upon each and every one of you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for spending your time with me this evening. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you to all my new subscribers. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment box. I try to, um, now I know how to do it. <laughs> I try to respond to my comments. I might not catch all of them, but I try to do, I, now I try to go in there and, and actually like say thank you. If I'm not saying it verbally here, which I try to do every video and tell you that I love you, I try to go in them comments and respond as well i might not catch all of them but i do check them out now that i know where to look <laughs> so with that being said family i love you guys self-evaluation take care of your mental health take care of yourself be kind be kind be kind be kind be kind to each other oh my god be kind to yourself um it don't cost nothing it don't take nothing to be kind be kind. Even when you don't want to, just be kind. It'll make a world of difference. Because you might be being kind to a nasty person that needs your kindness to help them to have a better day. So with that being said, I love you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great night. Bye.